Hey guys, what's up? It's Stacy from Cloud9 Slimer and I'm back here today with another YouTube video. So don't mind my hair, it's literally a mess. But I'm starting out this restock with me video kind of like a vlog. So it's basically like a vlog of me making slime. Yeah, but anyway, we're starting out. It is December, I mean December. It is January 2nd of 2020, so happy new year to everyone. This video is going to be going up on January 16th, which is the day of my restock. So, hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys have some natural slimes. I haven't started making any of them yet besides clear slime, which has already been made. Um, I'm going to try to use all that clear slime for both of my restocks. I only had like half a gallon left, so hopefully it'll be enough because I don't have any more clear glue. But anyway, right now I'm about to go make some labels so my mom can take packages over to the post office for you guys. So definitely go check out both of our shops. They're linked down below in the description box. So yeah, let's go print them. About to weigh the babies so we can ship them out. Show you guys a little bit of how we print our labels. We have just a really honestly cheap printer from Walmart and we use four by six labels. You can actually get these at the dollar store, which is where these are from, or you can get them from Avery, but we actually get them from the dollar store. They work perfectly fine, exact same and everything. Here's our computer. So we go ahead and we go into um, Google. Or Chrome, whatever you use. Sorry, it's just coming up, so it's gonna be a little slow. In the computer up, we go into our Etsy, and we also open another tab. The other tab is Avery Templates. So since we are a smaller slime shop, we don't have a label printer. So the way we print labels is a little bit more extra, I guess, than normal people um, who have shops, maybe. But we find this um, not easier, trust me. It's a lot more difficult. But it gets the job done. So we go ahead, put in our template. This is the template we use, 5292. It's a 4x6 label. Sorry, I had to put in my password. But we hit start designing. Choose the first design. And then here's your plain template. So then we're going to go back to our orders. So next we're going to put in all of their information. So the weight size and the um, size of the package itself. To so our scale and weigh it. So this package was 2.9 ounces. Put all that in and make sure everything's correct. And then we go in print. Your label will go ahead and pop up here and you can go ahead and download it and then put it into your template design. Our paper in to the printer. And then we make sure it's on the correct paper setting, so four by six, and then we click print. And then she prints and that's it. And then we do this for all of them. So I figured I'd show you some of the stuff we got at the Silver Color Dust store. If you saw my last vlog of my cruise, you know that we went there and we got a bunch of stuff. This is pretty much the stuff that I got. Mostly stuff for slime, obviously. Some cute pigments and glitters. More pigments. And these are stuff that I guess they give to everyone. It's kind of like a little care pack. They also gave us two coins, which are $5 store credit. Which is pretty cool, so we gotta check those out. This is pretty much stuff that my mom got. Again, more glitters, mostly. She got she got pretty much just glitter and a mold. But yeah, I'm excited to use these. I forgot to record this, but right now I'm making toxic pineapple. I went ahead and added some regular school glue, my bright pigment, some yellow food coloring, and my scents. And now we're just mixing to activate, and then we'll add our fake plastic snow. So now I'm activating while also adding some snow in. Just to make sure I don't overactivate anything. 
sorry if you hear my mix in the background. It is pretty chilly down here. But next I'm making mer milk. So this is a pretty thick base. So I'm using all three types of glue. Here are the scents I'm using. To be honest, I forgot the scents that I used last time and I cannot remember for the life of me. So I'm changing the scents a little bit. So I'm using blue raspberry, white pear, and cool water. It'll be a pretty sweet yet kind of cologne type scent. It'll smell really good. The base will be a light blue and it'll have this bead mix inside as well as sprinkles. And it'll come with these cute charms. show the mixing of me adding the beads and sprinkles you can kind of see here a little bit but I did film it for TikTok so go go ahead and check my TikTok out it is cloud nine slimery I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to see the mixing to this beautiful slime also is going to come with some cute charms and I'm so excited for it and I hope you guys are too I went ahead and dyed my beads for pink drink because I was running out of them so they're gonna dry overnight so we can make pink drink probably tomorrow. Next, we are making pink drink. So I'm emptying out some um, glue all right now and I used some regular Amazon glue. I also put a little bit of cornstarch in there as well as some lotion, baby oil, and a little bit of foaming, um, I mean some facial wash. Next, I'm going to color it and scent it and I'll show you that in a second. So these are the scents that I use. I use coconut milk, strawberry, summer scoop, and strawberries and cream. These two are from Indigo, and these two are from, I believe, like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They're soap scents um, and or candle scents. Really depends. They're all the, pretty much the same. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and scent this, and I add the coloring, and then we'll activate. We'll be getting some large marshmallow foam beads that are red as well as some smaller red like micro type beads as well as one strawberry charm strawberry femos and a cute little pink drink um charm and of course it smells really good again go check out my tiktok if you want to see the mixing of this it's gonna be pink lemonade puff so i haven't made this one in quite a while honestly like over a year ago by now and I'm kind of excited to make it. So I'm gonna be using school glue because it's not gonna be a thick base. It's just gonna be, you know, a regular base because we're gonna be adding clay. It's gonna be light pink scented like a mix of just lemonade and pink lemonade, which smells really good together. It'll also come with some other add-ins on top, which I'll show you in a little bit. I will be using um, VA Slime Supplies Clay, which you can find in her shop. It is just a standard polymer clay and it's really good. The slime I'm making is store bought sugar cookies. The base is a um, like a cloud cream type texture and it'll be a light kind of vanilla cake type color and it's scented basically like sugar cookies but kind of like a vanilla type scent um i'm going to be using school glue for this with a little bit of amazon glue and instant snow so now let's go ahead and get into this and i'm not using my normal instant snow i got this snow at walmart and i've heard it works you know pretty much the same so yeah i'm gonna use this instead just added the snow currently making my base for cloud slime i don't have my normal regular snow i'm using this crazy art snow that i got from walmart so let's pray it works because honestly i have never used it for cloud slime and if it doesn't oh well I guess no cloud slime for this restock but anyways let's hope it works 
How I make my cloud slime is I take my base and then I add a bunch of snow to it until it gets really fluffy and drizzly. Then I leave it overnight to make sure all the snow has absorbed and then I go ahead and, you know, dye it, scent it, that type of thing. So yeah, you guys see me make cloud slime so many times in my past restock that I don't think you guys need to see it again. <laughs> Okay guys, so the last thing I have to do is basically wait for my clear slimes to clear up um, and then list all the slimes and print labels and that type of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was kind of a short one, so I'm sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoy these slimes. I've known, I know you guys probably see me make these slimes so many times. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And I hope you to see you in the next one. And I really hope you purchase from my slime shop. The link will be down below. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.